Okay, good afternoon and welcome to my office. I am Michelle Blackburn. I am one of the guidance counselors here at Belmont High School. Um, one of my main functions is to coordinate the Belmont Early College Program. So I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about that. Uh, the Belmont Early Pro or College Program is in its 10th year, I believe, and it was founded to try and help students be the most prepared that they can be for college. Uh, so that they know the terminology, know what to expect, know how to advocate for themselves, and it has evolved into a wonderful program over the last 10 years. Um, currently, we have three cohorts, uh, a 10th grade, 11th grade, and a 12th grade. We backed off from having freshmen enter as a ninth grader. We feel like they were not even ready for high school. So as freshmen, they are in Nine Nation and they learn all kinds of basic high school tools, how to email, how to talk to a teacher, how to advocate for themselves in the classroom, just a lot of more organizational type skills. And it also allows us to become more personal with those students. We can learn more about their goals, their likes, their dislikes. Uh, who fits in with what kind of program. So the ninth grade year is all about getting to know the students more on a one-on-one -on -one type of special program. And then usually in March of their freshman year, we start talking to them about the Belmont Early College Program, what the expectations would be, and who we are looking for. We will not deny anybody at all into the program um, based on any other classification. We are looking for students um, in, that have free or reduced lunch, maybe minority students, 21st century scholar students, and first generation college students. Uh, that would be someone whose parents had not completed a two-year or four-year degree at college. Uh, we just feel like those type of students may need more support for them to be successful at a college level, whether it is a two-year or a four-year program. We're not specific on what that program looks like when they graduate. We just want them to be prepared to make a very informed decision when they get to that point. So as a sophomore, once they enter that program, we after we get their applications, we do some background checks, kind of just like from their teachers to find out about their work ethic. Make sure that they are willing to maybe put in some extra effort into the program. So all students get a portfolio as a sophomore and they will keep it for the next three years. In this portfolio, we have students keep, which I think is the biggest helpful for parents, is usernames and passwords to any kind of thing that they set up online for SAT, ACT, school login information because we don't get that information. They're the only ones that have that. So if they write it down and keep it in this binder and then they can take it home at any time and have, talk to their parents about how to set up their college board account and how to log in to take the SAT. Um, whenever we do a college visit, we do at least two a year. We have them do a little bit of research on that college and do a form like what maybe the pros and cons are of that school. And then when they return from a college visit, then they do a post visit, what they liked about that school, what they didn't like, what is something that they are missing on a college visit that they want to maybe take their parents on another college visit. So all this information is in here. They can take it home at any point during their three years and go over it with their parents. And then, you know, they should have all kinds of relevant information in there that will help them for scholarships. And that is what we lead up to is try to give these students as much free money as we can through our local scholarships, um, any other type of scholarship that come from outside community sources, corporations. We try and keep that all in here and help them learn how to write essays. Every year they have a new essay topic that they have to write on. We give them constructive feedback and then they also keep that in here. Um, so that's key. I talked about the field trips just briefly. We try to do, um, at the beginning, uh, a field trip to Trine University, and then we go to Camp Chief Little Turtle. It is a Boy Scout reservation camp, and we do all team building activities because we want their SRT that they will be with for three years to feel like a team, that they can rely on each other for help and support. They see somebody struggling in a class that they can be able to help them with that class help bring them up because it's all about giving them the extra support to make them successful. So we do a team building activity um, with the sophomores and then we also do college visits to uh, public schools, private schools, large universities, smaller ones so that they can see a different variety of schools that they can start maybe picturing themselves 
at different types of colleges. We want them to be able to say, I can see myself there, or that is way too big, never gonna go, go to that university. Um, the other thing that we try to do is get a lot of community leaders in. I offer a lecture series once a month, have different leaders come in and talk to them about how to be a leader, how to stand up for yourself so that they have to attend one of those lecture series at least once a semester with whoever they choose to sign up for so that they can learn how to be a leader and an advocate. I think that has been one of the most significant things that we have seen as students leave our program and go to college. We get emails all the time about students saying, hey, I really want to thank you guys for all you did. I was able to go and talk to my professor and I felt very confident in what I was talking about. I just really felt like I was prepared a lot of the other people in my classes or in my dorm they don't even know some of the things I'm talking about when it comes to dual credit and scholarships let alone um, the number of dual credits that they have so kids are really responded well when they get back or when they get to college and then they come back and they want to share that information so that's also something that we have them do is as a freshman in college come back during their breaks and share that message with the younger students because we could tell them that a hundred times and they may not believe it but if they hear it from somebody that they used to have class with or on a sporting team then it's likely to be more memorable and make more sense coming from them the other thing the state of indiana has made some wonderful changes in the dual credit program we offer what they call the ICC, the Indiana College Core. Because we are an early college, we are able to offer this core certificate, which is the equivalent of the first year of college. We partner with mainly Ivy Tech and Purdue Fort Wayne. So with the significant amount of dual credits that we offer, they will able to get the certificate that's signed off by the state of Indiana that has to transfer to any public school, four-year school in Indiana. So if they take the certain number of classes, essentially that first year in college is completed. So that would be classes like in English, math, science, social studies, and like a humanities. We offer all of those here. So to get that first year of college could save a student up to $20,000 if they were going to a public school, say IU or Purdue. It's going to save them a significant amount of money in the long run. In addition to that, we do have some students who qualify to earn their associate's degree, which is a two-year degree. So in addition to that Indiana College core classes, they take some additional dual credit courses and usually maybe two classes outside of Belmont High School that's an online class to be able to complete that associate's degree. So that is two years, $40,000, that they could get while they are in high school. I tell students all the time, would you rather do it here with teachers that you are comfortable with and you know where your resources are, or wait till you get to college and there's 400 people sitting around you and you've never met the professor, so you would feel more comfortable taking as many of those dual credit courses as you can while you're in high school. Um, trying to think, scholarships again are the big thing that we try to lead them up to so that they can get free money in addition to the dual credit courses that they can save money. And with the SRT, the student resource time that they have four times a week, that advisor will stay with them for those three years. And so we always say, we want you to be their parents. Tell them when they have missing assignments, tell them how to go talk to a teacher. If you need to walk them to that teacher and help them figure out what is going on, how to do better in high school. So that that is their role is to be a parent in the early college program. I think uh, when they come to do the scholarships and they feel really comfortable with that person, person asking them for a letter of reference, because then I tell the teachers, I was like, well, you know about their work ethic, you know everything they've been in in the last three years, so that letter should be fairly easy for you to write. So we want a personal letter of recommendation, and so an SRT teacher would be awesome for that. Um, there's no limit on how many students can be in the early college program. This coming year, we are currently sitting at 58 incoming that's going to be in the program, but we've had up to 78. So if you we think you have the great work ethic, you need the support, we're gonna put you in the program and put you with the best advisor to meet your needs and your goals um, and get you as prepared for college as possible. Uh, it's been really hard with COVID not being able to get on the college campuses, so we've tried to make do with virtual um, 
campus visits, trying to log in and talk to admissions counselors one-on-one. -on -one. So that has been a little bit of a struggle, so we have a little bit of that to make up next year, especially with some of the schools and their college entrance exams. So we need to really, in the fall, we're gonna focus on preparing for the college entrance exams and getting kids early onto campus next fall, just so that they can help be most informed for when they're applying later in the fall and into second semester. Um, so that's kind of Belmont Early College rundown. Uh, feel free to email me if you have any questions about the program or give me a call. I have tons of pictures. I'd love to show you how we do the team building activities or the college visits. Um, it's a lot of fun and it's very rewarding. Thank you. Uh, you can call me at 260-724-7121 and my extension is 5009. Thank you.